Hello everyone. In this tutorial, what I'll be covering is the PHP while loop. Now the while loop is very useful if we need to perform a repetitive operation. For example, say we needed to list over 100 names in a database, or say we wanted to list all the multiples of three from one to 50. Using a while loop would be the best choice to carry out this repetitive action. So here's the basic layout for a while loop and I'm going to write a comment block. And inside that comment block, I'm going to write the word while I'm going to open my parentheses and say, while this condition is true, close my parentheses, open a curly brace on the next line. I'm going to say execute this code. Then I'm on the next line. I'm going to close my curly brace. All right. So as you can see, this looks very familiar to our if statement, except we're using the word wow. All right, so let's evaluate what we have here. So while this condition is true, we're going to execute this code. Once we're done executing this code, and it may be multiple lines, we're going to reevaluate this condition. We're going to check to see if it's still true after we execute this code. If this condition is still true, again, execute this code again. After we're done executing this code, come back to this condition, check it again, see if it's true. If it is, again, execute this code. So you can see it's a while loop. It's just looping until this condition is false. So now that we know the basic layout for a while loop, let's use a while loop to list all the multiples of three from one to 50. So what I'm going to do is write a comment and I'm going to say example. Then I'm going to create a variable and I'm going to assign to that variable the numerical value one. And in comments, I'm going to say keeps up with the current count in loop. All right. Now I'm going to start my while loop. I'm going to say while open my parentheses. While counter is less than or equal to 50. Close my parentheses, open my curly brace on the next line. I'm going to say the variable answer is a sign three times counter. And it with a semicolon in comments. I'm going to say perform calculation on the next line. I'm going to say echo three times counter is equal to answer. I'm going to put a horizontal line. This is just basic HTML. End it with a semicolon. And in comments, I'm just going to say this really is three times one equals three. And I'm going to explain this in a second. On the next line, I'm going to say counter increment. Remember this from our operators tutorial. End it with a semicolon. In comments, I'm going to say add one to counter. Then lastly, I'm going to close my curly brace. All right, so let's reevaluate what's going on here. First, I just created a variable, nothing new here. I assigned a value to it, one. And now we get to the while loop. So with the while loop, what we're doing here is we're saying while counter is less than or equal to 50, continue to execute this code. Or I shouldn't say continue, but execute this code and then come back around and reevaluate this condition. All right, so let's take it very slow here. First, counter is equal to one, right? And one is less than or equal to 50. All right. So we're going to come to this next line here. We're going to say answer is a sign three times counter. Again, counter is one. So really, that's just three times one, which is equal to three. So we're going to assign the numerical value three to answer. All right. So once we do that, we're going to come to the next line. We're going to echo out that information. So all I'm doing here is just saying three times one is equal to answer, which is three. And again, I'm just putting a horizontal line just to make it easier to read. So all I'm really saying there is three times one equals three. Very straightforward. Now, remember from my operators tutorial here with the increment, when I put two plus signs after the variable, all I'm doing here is adding one to that variable. So now counter is equal to two. Once I execute this code here, I'm just adding one to it. So now the counter equals two, we're going to come back up here to the while loop, evaluate this condition again. Remember, counter is now equal to two. So really, we're saying two is two less than or equal to 50, which it is. That's true. So we're going to execute this code again. So answer is going to equal three times two. 
and three times two is six. We're going to assign the numerical value six to answer. We're going to come to the next line again. Really, what we're saying here with the next line is three times two equals six. All right. So then we're going to hit this line again. We're going to hit the increment again. Remember, counter this time is two. So as soon as we execute this code, now counter is going to equal three. So again, once we're done with this, this final line in the while loop, we're going to come back up here, reevaluate this condition again. Remember, counter this time is three. So we're saying it's three less than or equal to 50. It is. It evaluates to true. So again, we're going to execute this code again. So hopefully it's starting to sink in what's going on here until counter is not less than or equal to 50. We're going to continue to execute this code over and over and over again. But as soon as it's say 51, we're going to break out of this while loop since this evaluates to, to false. So we're going to break out of this while loop and continue on with any code that we have in our file. All right. So let me change this back to counter. And I'm going to save this. And I'm going to save it as wow.php. Then I'm going to load this into my browser. I'm going to say localhost PHP basics. Let's change this to wow. Hit enter. All right. So as you can see here, we have three times one equals three horizontal line. Three times two equals six. And this just continues on until we get to three times 50. Again, we were just doing one to 50. So as you can see, it quickly did this. Again, this is a lot quicker than we could have did by hand. So with computers being so fast, it, it's loading it so fast that we can't even see it doing all these different calculations. So that's just really great about the while loop. It allows us to do a lot of repetitive operations that would normally take us a long time to do if we had to do each line one by one. So going back over here to the script, I could have changed 50 to say 100 and I hit save and I went back to my browser, hit refreshed and scrolled all the way down to the bottom. As you can see, the counter got all the way down to 100 and it hit 300. So again, once this condition is false, we're going to exit this while loop and I'm going to change this back to 25. Let's do 25. And then after the while loop, I'm going to say echo. Welcome to the PHP basics. All right. And let's put a line break there. All right. And I'm going to hit save, refresh my browser. And as you can see, as soon as the counter equal 25, we exited that while loop and then we just echoed or we executed the rest of the code in this file. So hopefully now you're starting to understand how the while loop works. So that does conclude this tutorial. And hopefully now you have a new or better understanding about the PHP while loop. So be sure to take the online quiz at the phpbasics.com to ensure you understand the basic concepts for a while loop. And I will see you in the next video.